For this example, let's say we have a sales table with two key columns – sales amount and target. We want to add multiple new columns at once. A flag to check if the target was met, the difference between sales and target, a completion percentage and a bonus if the target was met. First, click Add column, Add custom column. All right. We'll be using square brackets here to create a record. This lets us add several fields under one column name, all at once. So let's start. Is over target. This first line creates a new field called is over target. It checks if the sales amount is greater than the target, giving us a simple true or false answer for each row. Next, difference. It calculates the difference between sales amount and target, showing how much over or under the target each row is. Completion. Here we are creating a field which shows the sales progress as a percentage of the target. Lastly, for bonus, we are applying an if statement to check is over target. If it's true, we get a 10% bonus of the sales amount. If not, it returns zero. Notice we can refer to is over target directly, since it's already part of this record. If you need to use spaces or any other special characters in the column names, just use hashtag and quotes. So that's it. By using square brackets here, we've created a record that holds each of these fields together under one column name. This way Power Query lets us handle multiple calculations in one go, keeping our query cleaner and more efficient. All we need to do now is expand all the columns by clicking the little arrow icon to the right of the column name. Don't forget to change the data types if needed. Getting them right is crucial to avoid formatting issues later and to ensure accurate calculation. When you store everything in one step like we did here, it's easier to see the logic all at once, instead of scrolling through multiple steps to find each calculation. See you in the next video.